What's the German word for earworm? Ohrwurm. Oh, good to know. Good to know. Du bist ein scheiß Ohrwurm, oder? Let me count the ways we will spend our days living our life in the USA. Have a Josie, we're in America now. Have a Josie, don't let it get you down. Have a Josie, have a Everyone and welcome back to another episode of Abba Josie, the show about a girl from Leipzig, Germany, and her experiences living in the United States, specifically Los Angeles. And yes, she has her very own American, me. Germany has much longer winters than what I'm used to, and this climate tends to produce more cases of depression than areas closer to the equator. However, Josie takes it to a whole other level. I'm the one saying this, but are you ever going to get out of bed? Did you know that it's literally impossible to suffocate yourself with a pillow? Why would you want to try? Why wouldn't you want to try? Abba <laughs> Josie! Damn it! That doesn't work either! Sakes, would you get down from there? What will our neighbors think? Damn it! Now, would you just tell me what this is all about? The world is going to shit. I know, but you've never acted like this before. It's just everything climate change, the war in Ukraine. Ron DeSantis. Are you watching the news again? And Sam Hewen passed on doing our movie. Oh my god, that's what this is all about? It's a good script. Why won't he pass? Wait, wait. So you're depressed because the Outlander guy that you have a crush on won't do the rom-com that you're producing? He's my one true love. How could he reject me? What about me? Okay, fine. I guess I don't meet your standards. But look at the bright side. At least your birthday's coming up. Great. No, I'm also old. Why is the universe so cruel? <sighs> There's got to be something we can do to get you out of this funk. Ooh, I know. Uh, but Josie, look, I've got a shiny. Oh, Pokemon. Denied. Look what I got. Your favorite. Huh. Tacos. Denied. Appa Josie. Look what's playing on the TV. <laughs> Even Taylor Swift. Denied. All right. This calls for drastic measures. Come on, Josie. The calories aren't going to burn themselves. But, Everett, it's my day off. Why can't we go when I'm awake? You know how busy it gets later. Come on, this is the best time. But I have depression. Am I going to have to drag you like happiness drags sadness? Going. We should have been at the gym a long time ago. We're going to a different gym, one that's much further away. Here, 
Why don't you just take a nap until we get there? <laughs> Sam Hewen, why hast thou forsaken me? <sighs> okay, we're here. What kind of gym has a parking garage? It's a really big gym. This gym is looking suspiciously like Disneyland. It's a full day's workout, Josie. I can't go to Disneyland in my gym clothes. That's why I brought an extra set of clothes in the trunk. Ugh. Fine. Oh. Oh. We are now on route I don't want you to, to think you could cure my depression just by taking me to Disneyland. If Disneyland can't Disney cure your depression, I will personally assist in your euthanasia. Promise. You may remember a couple months ago when we did a video on Disney's California Adventure. And if you haven't seen it, check it out by clicking the link on the screen. Now Josie took me to that park to celebrate my birthday. So I decided to return the favor and on her birthday, we went to the original Disneyland. Disneyland is Walt Disney's first theme park and the only park constructed under his direct supervision in 1955. It's the second most visited park around the world behind only Magic Kingdom at Disney World Florida. And it's the most visited theme park of all time at 757 million visits as of 2021. Of course we got there super early because like a lot of people apparently, Josie likes to get there at the rope drop. They basically just let everyone pour into Main Street and then hold them off with ropes at the entrances to each land. So of course, everyone mostly waited in front of Adventureland because that was the path to Star Wars. Welcome to Disneyland. Welcome to the course. May the force be with us. We are a civilian vessel. By whose authority are we being detained? By the authority of the First Order, resistance scum. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally. With the resistance, we're here to get you out. I said down, up is bad. Up is real bad. <laughs> Escape pods came in a little off target. The ground crews will meet you outside the wreck. The rise of the resistance was cool. I think I fit in well with the Empire. Says the German. Shut up, rebel scum. Well, do you want a souvenir or what? Why would I want a souvenir? I don't even like Star Wars. I find your lack of faith disturbing. <laughs> Okay, so what do you want to do next? I don't care. Oh, come on, Grumpy. I'm not Grumpy, I'm hungry. Hungry? Why didn't you just say so? How about Josie? Look what I got. Boop. You got to be the saddest person I've ever seen with a Mickey beignet. After breakfast, we headed to all the cool rides because it was still early and we were hoping that the lines wouldn't be that long. So we did all the mountains. There was Thunder Mountain. There's also Splash Mountain, but we didn't do that ride because they're renovating it to make way for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. And of course, we did the mountain that's been my favorite ride since I was a kid, Space Mountain which was changed in 2015 to Hyperspace Mountain because it was given a Star Wars overlay. Why don't we do the Haunted Mansion? Uh, maybe later. I want to make sure you're happy for that ride. Why? It's a ride about death. That's perfect for my mood now. Aw, oh, is someone being a sourpuss? Does someone need a turkey leg? Do you need a turkey leg? Shoved up your butt? Come on, let's get you a turkey leg. Ow. So glad we got you a turkey leg. 
After the mountains, we moved on to the boat rides, and I really thought Pirates of the Caribbean would cheer her up. After all, she learned English by watching those movies over and over and over again. But instead, all it did was remind her of how old she is. And honestly, I can't blame her. Any age over 30 is just depressing. What? I, I mean, any age over 24 is just depressing. So you're having fun yet? I'm bored. Ah, but Josie, don't you know what ride we're about to go on? A ride for losers. Well, yeah, sort of. I starred in every high school play. Blew every drama teacher away. Graduated first in my class at Juilliard. Took every acting class I could. And I dreamed of Hollywood. While I read my Uta Hagen and studied the bar Hit the boards and paid my dues And got phenomenal rave reviews I knew the world was gonna love me without a doubt I was sure that Tarantino would be calling me on my phone And Leibovitz would shoot me for rolling but the years have come and gone And I'm sorry to say That's not the way that it's all worked out I'm a tour guide on the Jungle Cruise ride Skipper Dan is my name And I'm doing 34 shows every day And every time it's the same Whoa, look at those hippos They're wiggling their ears just like, like they've done, done for the last 50 years Now I'm laughing at my own jokes But I'm dying inside Cause I'm working on the Jungle Cruise ride Nothing like Weird Al at Disney to cheer someone up There's just one thing left to top it off And make Josie forget about all her troubles But Josie, why don't we get you some dinner? How would you feel about that? Uh. So then we ate at Jolly Holiday Bakery, which tasted like throwing away money. And afterwards, we decided to do the fun little things in Fantasyland, like teacups. Which in hindsight, probably wasn't a good idea to do after dinner. We also did the carousel, took a boat ride through Miniature World where you can see all of the classic fairy tales in miniature form, and of course we did the classic It's a Small World. It's a small world after all. That's it. It's a small world Don't take the water. back. It's been hurting all day, but now it's unbearable. Do you want to sit down? Uh, or uh, uh. Lie down? <laughs> Do you want me to stretch your legs? <laughs> what? Everybody's looking at us like we're crazy. It's awesome. Wait, so then are you feeling better? How can I not feel better when I'm helping your dumbass? Well, then let's go to the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> the Haunted Mansion is my favorite ride. Why, you ask? Is it because it's scary? Nope. Is it because of the cool mirror effects? No. 
Is it because it's so dark that no one can see me going to second base with my wife? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Why are you sad now? Because Murphy died. Oh, Murphy. Right. Who's Murphy? The dragon from Fantasmic. He burnt down in a show like two weeks ago, and now Fantasmic is cancelled. Your attention, please. Due to unforeseen circumstances, this performance of Fantasmic cannot continue. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause, and hope you enjoy the rest of your evening here at Disneyland. Thank you. Oh! I bet you wish you were there. Yeah, that would have been awesome. Can we have a moment of silence for Murphy? Sure. <sighs> so you want to go to Haunted Mansion? this chapter. Oh no, please, can't we go back to page one and do it all over again? But who? It's just another turn of the page. And I, for one, think what comes next will be wondrous. I knew taking Josie to Disneyland would cheer her up. As we get older, it's good to remember our inner child and to take the time to enjoy life. Sometimes you gotta just stop and behold the fireworks. And remember, if it's too difficult to find your inner child, you can always pay a small fortune to a Disneyland theme park and have them find it for you. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to keep Josie happy, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that bell so that you're notified every time we release a new video. And if you'd like to join our Patreon family, please follow the link in the description. Until next time, cheers! How about Josie? We're in America now. How about Josie? Don't let it get you down. How about Josie? Oh, I'm so you feeling better?